Good afternoon, everyone. Intro description down below. Dog training and socialization. VR Blind Resources logo. Hazel has lots to learn. Black and white husky with blue eyes. Best friends. Hazel with a black cat. Teaching old dogs new tricks. Lucy sitting, Ginger walking towards the camera. Both of them in the stroller. She loves to learn. Hazel doing various training sessions. She loves to run. Hazel chasing me as I run around in circles. We have a lot to work on. Hazel and I going down the slide. Hazel coming to me and then running past me. Ginger being a model. Lucy with stuffed animal. Hazel in stroller. Ginger and Lucy black and tan. Hazel on a walk. Close up of her face. shaking my hand. Her swimming. Dog training and blind. Miss Hazel Basil is sleeping by my uh, bedroom door and today we're going to do an interview so the interview is going to be with my friend Amanda Jean her blog and YouTube will be linked down below and Hazel is currently wearing her orange harness Zoom the camera in a little bit more so you can see her better. Hold on. There we go. There. There's her orange harness. So Amanda asked me some questions and I asked her some. But she won't hear her questions to me because I didn't read them out loud. I just sort of answered them as I went. Okay, so do you like your swing? Do you like the swing? Do you think the swing is yours? So Hazel is laying out here on my swing. It's a rectangular swing and it's blue and I have orange noodles on the ropes so that way I know where the, the swing is so I don't run into it. Hi huh, girl, yeah. Hazel is a black and white husky with blue eyes which you've heard in the intro. Um, she's licking my hand. Hazel is a husky mix. I'm not entirely sure what she's mixed with. I want to do one of those DNA test things to see what she's mixed with. Like, they told us that she's mixed with a pit bull. But we think she might be part border collie because she um, like has kind of herding instincts with our cats. And... She also is kind of like that with her people. Oh, girl. Yeah, what are you looking at? What are you looking at, huh? See, I don't know. I just want to be on the swing. Yeah. At the moment, Hazel is a pet dog. I am training her to possibly either be a service dog for myself or a therapy dog which is a dog that goes into hospitals, nursing homes, schools, and places like that. Hazel, are you trying to get comfy? Um, and they don't have any public access rights on like service dogs. So a service dog is a dog that, I'm sorry, she's chewing on her leash. Drop it, yes, good girl. So a service dog is a dog that performs tasks to mitigate a person's disability. So we're gonna see what Hazel ends up doing. You'll see alongside me, drop it. As you can see, she has a long way to go because she wants to chew on her leash. So let me move it out of her way. We are gonna continue the rest of our video inside cause Hazel hot, it's hot outside. Her tongue is hanging out. Yeah, see, I hot, I hot dog. Alrighty, she's laying back down now. Half on her orange blood gut and half on the ground. Right in front of the door, which is oddly enough her favorite spot in my room. Huh. You don't know, I think it's because she can feel the cool air or something. So, when Hazel wakes up, I will show you some of her basic obedience um, skills. Right, one of the... Easiest things to teach Hazel 
was to sit. And we're at the front door. So I tell her to sit. Yes. Good girl. And one of the hardest things, like I showed, was teaching her to drop it and to leave it. Those are the two things we're working on right now. Huh, girl. Let's go inside. All right. Well, Hazel and I are now in the backyard, and she just got out of the pool. So I'm wearing shorts and a like, striped, colorful uh, like crop top. And Hazel, what do you have, Hazel? Bring it. Hazel, come. Hazel, come. Yes. I do use the clicker, which I do have in my left hand now. Watch me. Yes. Good girl. All right. Sit again. Yes. Down. Down. Oh, yes. Shake. Good shake. Down. Yes. Stay. Stay. Yes. Good stay, Hazel. Yes. Good stay. Okay. S stay. Okay, I'm going to put the treat on the ground now. Wait. Hazel, wait. Ah. And she got up before I told her. This is the first time I tried to do this outside. So that also could be my fun. Let's go back in your, your spot. Yes. Okay. Sit. Yes. Down. Down. Yes. Stay. 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 All done. From found it. Yes. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. I think you found it. In, in case she didn't know, I'll just give her another treat. Because I was super small and I couldn't tell through the camera if she got it or not. Uh, camera back to me, so next part is back to my room. Okay. Here's a close-up of Hazel Basil's face. Oh, she moved. There. Um, so some of Hazel's favorite treats are ice, popcorn, and uh, cheese. She also likes um, she likes the freeze dried treats of like chicken and cheese. Those are really good. Those were her favorite. Um, those are probably her most high value treat. But I need to get more of those. She's stretching. It looks like she's smiling. And um. Hazel's favorite thing to do with me is probably go on walks and play. Next, you'll see Amanda in her room. Hi, fans of VI Blind Resources. It's Amanda Jean here. And today, Chelsea asked me a few questions about my dog, Duke. Her first question is, what does Duke look like and what do you want people to know about him? So for those of you who don't know, my dog's name is Duke. He's three years old and he is a black and he has a little bit of white on his chest and he is a pit bull terrier and he weighs about 45 pounds. And for those of you that can see, I'll leave a photo right here. And for um, what I want you guys to know about him is he's sweet and very, very playful and very smart. The second question that Chelsea asked is what misconceptions did you have about pit bulls before you knew about them? And to be honest, the only misconceptions that I had heard was what I heard on the news about fighting dogs and things like that. It wasn't until I actually started to watch a TV show called Pit Bulls and Parolees, not sponsored by the way in any way. 
um, that these dogs are actually very loving, caring, and very, very smart dogs. And that if you train them well, you can have an amazing friend for life. And I also feel like that can be for any breed. What are some of Duke's favorite toys? So Duke absolutely loves his Kong toys. And his favorites out of those are his tire and his bone. But he also has a Kong ball. And he also has another brand toy called a go nut stick is what tips do you have for separation anxiety and with me because I'm not a vet um, these tips are just based off of my experience and for me and Duke it was all about finding toys he loved and then we also went and spoke with our vet to talk to him about it and what could also be done so I would say uh, look at toys and definitely see your uh, professional vet to see if they can help you out. The next question that Chelsea asked is what tips do I have for people that want to own a dog that are visually impaired themselves? And that is to have patience with yourself and your dog and to train them really well and if you're struggling with training, to see your local vet and possibly see a professional dog trainer. And don't give up, keep working at it. The last question that Chelsea has is, what basic training does Duke have? So Duke knows a couple of commands. He knows sit. Yes. Sit. Yes. He knows lay down, which we're still working on. Good boy. Good calm. Good boy down. And he also knows come pretty well. And knows his name. And he also knows stay slash wait. Okay. Duke, come. And he also loves this game where I take his Kong toy and I hide it with high reward treats. And I go and I hide it and that gets him to work on sit wait and go find so that is a way for him to um, work on basic obedience as well I hope that you guys enjoyed my answers and please be sure to check out my channel and hit that subscribe button for more cute dog related things and visually impaired information and mental health related information. Bye! Now here's a clip of Hazel swinging on the swing, which is something she really loves right now. And with that, I will catch you next time, sending you all good vibes and wishing you all the best. Good night!